I've been keeping myself up to date with Outriders again. I've posted a couple of videos recently talking about how the game's out of control, how it's an absolute mess, so on and so forth. I was looking through Reddit and I found this post. If some modder broke your character, PCF or Square Enix cannot fix it, be advised. Hi, I just want you to know if someone breaks your character, like what happened to me, PCF or Square Enix will not fix it and you are left to deal with it on your own. A couple of weeks ago, I joined a friend on my friends list on Outriders playing with my trickster, and there was a random guy in the party, and he gave us unlimited points to our characters. When I noticed this, I knew there was something wrong, and I left the party. Then when I tried to play again, the game freezes, and I had to quit the game and open it up again, but the result is exactly the same. I made a post here and some of you have asked me to submit a ticket, so that's what I did and this was the answer. We'll get to the answer in a moment. I've lost hundreds of hours of gameplay with that character that I've had since day one for something that I didn't ask for and there's also a possibility they're going to have to pay a modder to fix the character because the developers can't actually do anything. So if it's happening to you, something that apparently is more common than I thought because I saw some others posting similar things, you know the answer. So in other words, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it unless you go and pay someone to basically unmod you they'll mod you to a lower level if that's even possible the guy who did this to me was on console so you are not safe turning off the crossplay option the only way you are safe is to play alone or just play with other people you know do not randomly match make if you are scared of this happening to you in recent days i have seen a very big increase on cheaters due to the level up system of the game hopefully the devs can rework the game and block some of the cheaters that are doing this they said they'll put some kind of label on them but i haven't seen anyone with the label hope the situation doesn't happen to you take care i don't think 100 percent that it's because of the leveling system like because of the outriders world slayer grind that people are cheating i think it's just a common thing some people are doing it because they fancy cheating in the game others are doing it because they want to see if people can fly will actually stick to their word because they did say they are going to put a watermark on accounts that are cheating so that you can see when players are cheating and they've never done anything about it they've also had their community managers saying in posts recently that they don't want to like basically punish someone for cheating in the game so they have no intention to do anything change it all make it any better or anything like that but it does get worse if we take a look at this image on screen, this is the response to that player from Square Enix themselves. Greetings, we apologise for any confusion. Unfortunately, we cannot undo the changes to the character, but we can assure you that this will not affect your ability to play the game. As further assurance, our development team has assured us that this instance will not lead to repercussions since you didn't mean for this to happen. Thank you for letting us know about the issue and hope you can still enjoy the game. Thank you, Cora, Square Enix customer support. So the thing they've said is, they cannot undo the changes to the character, but they can assure you that this will not affect your ability to play the game, but it will. Not necessarily your ability, but your drive to play the game. Someone that is trying to play genuinely, level up, run through the trial, go through expeditions, have fun with their friends, they jump into one bad game where there's a cheater, because for some reason you can actually bypass all the anti-cheat systems and stuff now, and you can actually get into multiplayer matches through matchmaking whilst you are cheating, you get into one bad game and that player is a cheater and they boost you up to APOC tier 40, Ascension level 200, whatever they're going to do, there is no way for Square Enix or People Can Fly to actually reverse it and let you play legit anymore. They, they assure you, don't worry, we're not going to like ban you, we're not going to give you a watermark because you didn't want it to happen to you, but we can't go and reverse it so you can actually enjoy your time on our game and experience the game the way you want to after you've spent money on our product. This is the sort of bullshit that really winds me up. I don't care how hard it is to reverse something like this, they should have put things in place so that this doesn't happen. If their anti-cheat isn't working, update it, get it fixed, make sure that cheaters cannot do this and just randomly ruin the experience for another player. You see this in games all the time and companies never do anything about it because obviously it would cost them a bit of money. And companies, especially AAA ones nowadays, don't give a fuck about the community, they just want all the profits. And it's mainly for the CEOs. So all I'm saying from this is be careful playing Outriders, especially if you want to experience the game 
the way you want to experience it. Play solo, play with people you know, do not randomly matchmake if you want a good experience because there is a chance you could get into a game with a cheater and they can boost you all the way up to APOC tier 40. Check out this video if you want to see more Outriders content and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.